The Teradyne Gurkha LAPV. This thing is absolutely insane in every sense. This thing is crazy. It's the complete opposite of every single episode we've done up until this point. So most of the vehicles we take a look at in this series are focused on reducing weight, being fast, using carbon fiber, aluminum, all kinds of stuff like that. This is the complete opposite. This is a fully armored tank, essentially. So LAPV stands for Light Armored Patrol Vehicle. This thing can stand up to all sorts of bullets and explosions all the way up to a 762 round, which is enormous, like the stuff that comes out of very, very powerful assault rifles. So this thing is crazy. And we're about to use it in the snow here on Blizzard Mountain. So um, this thing is based off of the chassis of the Ford F550, which is an enormous truck. So obviously it's a very, very big vehicle. It's got a Ford Power Stroke diesel engine in there and weighs over five tons. So it's over 10,000 pounds. I think sometimes you get up into like the 14, 15, 16,000 pound range, which is absolutely nuts. And um, we're going to see how this thing can do. So let's go ahead and hop into it. We're going to go into Forza Vista and take a look at it first. Just take a quick little tour around this thing. What in the world, man? This is so crazy. Like, this looks like a SWAT vehicle. And it is used for stuff like that. Like, they range around $300,000. It's kind of like the starting price. And they go upwards from there. Um, they do have a civilian version you can buy now. It's not quite this one. It's a little bit less armor than this one, but like this vehicle is used for like border patrol and SWAT teams and all kinds of stuff like that. What in the world, bro? This is so crazy. You definitely can see the Ford in it. It definitely looks like a Ford, but obviously it's, uh, it's tuned to the max for personal protection. So let's um, let's back out here and we're gonna go into upgrades and see, actually, let's hop into the game first. We're gonna hop into the game, we're gonna see what this thing's like stock, and then we're gonna You'll upgrade that thing. find it easier if I put snow tires on the car. Come back to the garage, I'll get you fixed up. Oh, don't worry. I'll put snow tires on it eventually, but we're just gonna test this thing out off the bat. Look at this acceleration, guys. We are at 50 miles an hour right now. Are you kidding me? We are killing it. Oh, get out of way, way, Mercedes. Didn't even slow us down hardly. He's still in front of us and we're just pushing him. This thing has so much power. This is absolutely insane. You would be the king of the road in something like this. We're up to 60 miles an hour. Let's try to e-brake drift it around the corner. Oh yeah. What in the world? Look at that, um, the rear view mirror is actually a, uh, it's a rear view camera. A full time rear view camera. That's crazy. You guys see that? That's nuts. It's a giant like six inch display camera. All right. We're gonna head back into the festival because using this is just not gonna work out. Like it's, it's gonna be way too slow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade it to the max. We're also gonna do an engine swap. So we're gonna take out that Ford Power Stroke diesel and we're gonna put in like a Lambo or Ferrari engine or whatever they have available for us and uh, we'll be looking a little bit better. I think we're gonna improve our, our zero to 60 time by a significant amount. Can we see what it's at right now? Let's go over to garage upgrades. Dude, this is gonna be so, so unique. Engine swap. So right now, how do you see? Ah, it's here under tuning, okay. So zero to 60 time right now is 19 seconds with a top speed of 101 miles an hour. That sounds awful. So 19 seconds, let's remember that. And uh, we're gonna go into our upgrades and we're gonna go through and we're just gonna upgrade every single thing we can possibly upgrade to. Let's start off with an engine conversion. And um, oh yeah, that's looking a little bit better there. What do we think? We'll roll with this. Keeps a little bit better Better torque over time and also gives more power. All right, so we'll go with that. Drive train swap. We're gonna go ahead and leave it with all wheel drive and then turbos. We're gonna throw some turbos in there. So that's already looking a little bit better. And now we're gonna go through in every single part, we're gonna upgrade to the max just to see what this thing can do. So I'm gonna go through and do this and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so you guys are gonna believe this, but we're gonna take this from a C class, barely a C class up to an S1 class. So the weight reduction kit took it from 16,500 pounds 
to 11,000 pounds, which is still enormous, but that's crazy. We took it from 300 horsepower to 1,500 horsepower, and all this is only gonna cost us 114,000 credits. So, um, I don't even know what to say, dude. That's insane. This thing is gonna be such a beast. Now, if we check what that did to our numbers here, wow. Zero to 60 is now 6.2 seconds. Zero to 114, and now the top speed is 191.3 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely insane. We went from a 19 second zero to 60 to a six point something second. That's pretty, pretty crazy. It's still not quick by any means, but it's a little bit better. And the best part is it's a freaking tank. So you're gonna be able to push anybody and everybody out of the way. It's funny what we're seeing on the, um, on the roads now. We're seeing Ferraris and Hummers. Oh shoot. And it can break dance, no way. Look at that. It could spin on its head. Let's take this thing out in the uh, the lake. I wanna see if the frozen lake can hold. What if the frozen lake broke? How cool would that be? We've got a blizzard coming in here. This thing is ready for any sort of, you, you could ride into a tornado with this thing, dude. All right, looks like the lake can hold us. Holy cow, dude. All those cracks are making me a little bit nervous. Let's see what it's looking like inside in this whiteout. Oh my gosh, man, this is nuts. All right. Let's just go ahead and head towards our objective. We're gonna take on our first race. We've already got it set up on our map for us and uh, we're gonna see how we can do. I feel like this thing should be indestructible. You should just be able to take out buildings and ski lifts and everything. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Anyway, here we go. It's going to be really interesting. I don't know if this is going to be a car we're going to be able to race in. I don't know. You have arrived at your destination. It's going to be weird. Okay. We need three snowman skills while we're doing this. I don't think it's going to be able to hold up to the other trucks. The other truck's going to be so much lighter, so much faster. Especially being in the S1 class. I just, I, I think we're going to have to... Stick to off-roading with this thing. Let's put that acceleration to good use. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, we're getting destroyed. This is not good. We gotta look for those. Oh, here's the first snowman. Sorry, Mr. Jeep. All right, got the first snowman. One out of three. We're gonna see if we can... I don't know. Like, our acceleration's bad, but we might be able to catch up to these guys over time with... Uh, with our speed. Because we do have some decent speed. Oh, there's another snowman. Got him! It's two out of three. These guys are kind of hard to find, I'm not gonna lie. And we... We're not doing too bad. I'm looking for snowmen, though. I'm trying to race while also looking for snowmen, because we only have three laps. I guess we could catch him on another lap if we go past him. They're hard to find, though. They blend in. Here we go, baby. Get some drafting. The one thing we can do is go through um, obstacles and, like, debris, fences and stuff with no problem. We don't really lose any speed. Nice. Okay, I can't find that last snowman. Don't tell me I missed him. First lap's down, man. I'm trying to take it slow because I want to make sure we didn't miss it. I don't see any in here next to the houses. Shoot, dude. This is our scouting lap. If we don't find them this lap, we're probably going to be screwed. I've got an itching suspicion that I've seen him and I've... He's not saying anything. Oh, they respawn! Oh, okay. So on that corner back there, we're gonna wanna get him on the second time through. Or, against the right wall of the... the starting line. Wow, dude, I cannot believe... I've been so focused on the snowman, we're actually winning the race here.
Well, Shiroka guys, got a first place, completed all of our objectives. What a way to start. We're nearing the Kingmaker now, boss. Here's the next round of events. All right. Nine more stars, and we're going to qualify for King of the Mountain round nine. So, uh, that's pretty exciting. With that last one, we moved into round eight. Where are we at? We're down here, and we have a couple of new things that I just saw. There's a new bucket list. Might have to check that out. We haven't done too many bucket lists recently. We also have an Ice Lake Cross Country Circuit. It's right behind Turn us. Around when it is safe to do so. So we're going to go ahead and reverse here. I want to see if I can reverse just using my mini map. Oh, shoot. No, we can still get it. It's behind us. Nothing. Just going to use the mini map. This thing slides around a little bit more than you'd think. Shoot, we hit the house. All right. Let's just drive normally. <laughs> Here we go. Do a little bit of landscape, but don't worry about it. I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this. It's really weird. Uh, two drift tap skills. I don't think that's going to happen in this vehicle. I can guarantee you that. So we're going to go with off-road. That'll work. So this counts as an off-road vehicle. Anyway, um, I don't think drift tap is going to be happening in this event. We'll see what happens. We might try it. We might get a little bit, uh, a little bit spicy here. But I've got a good feeling about. It's weird. Sometimes certain cars just end up being really, really good, and this is is that car. Like the other cars in its class just aren't, aren't really holding up here. I don't know if it's like a big benefit because we're so heavy. The computer's trying to like downgrade the other cars we're racing against. But with that Ferrari or Lambo engine in there, whichever one it is, it's just, it's easy, man. It's easy mode. And we're on a hard difficulty. So here we go. Let's hop back outside this thing. We're gonna try to get some drift taps. We've got three laps to get two of them. We're already not that great at drift taps and cars meant for that sort of thing. See how this goes. I don't even know what we would drift tap against, to be honest. There's nothing hard out here. Drift tap is like drift tapping up against a hard wall. I don't know. All right? Things are going swimmingly so far. We've got a big old skill chain happening. Some clean racing, air, drafting. I want some more air. I want some awesome air. Great air, let's keep this up, baby. I like it. Those trees don't slow us down whatsoever. That is so funny because in a normal car, we would have lost our, 100% uh, would have lost our combo right there. Little ramp out in the middle of the ice. I like it. That snow just saved us. We almost went sliding off into the distance, but. Okay. So, like, I think here might be our only option for a drift tap. If we were to try to drift and tap that wall or there. Oh, okay. That would be it. Those two spots. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's happening this episode. If we were to hit that wall as hard, probably could have done it. If we were in a car that could slow down, we probably could have slowed down. But we're in neither one of those positions. I don't know. What if we somehow did drift tap, drift tap on the two walls there at the starting line? Just back to back. How epic would that be in this thing? I'm going to try it. See if we can get it. I feel like that's one of the things that we have a lot of struggles with getting three stars in this series, or in this, this Blizzard Mountain, is the drifting stuff. We just haven't really been in cars good for it. Like, Kim Block's car, I think we could go through and get everything, but some of the stuff we've been using, I just, eh, hasn't worked out that well. This thing is absolutely nuts. Bro. Stick on the snow section. All right, you guys ready for a double drift tap? I don't even know if we're gonna have enough speed to be able to do this. There we go. Ah! Oh, can't even get the drift tap there. 
Does that count as a drip? That doesn't count as a drip tap! Yeah, we aren't gonna get it. That's alright. I knew coming into this episode that we wouldn't be getting a lot of good stuff with this thing. We're actually doing a lot better than I originally thought we would, so... I'm gonna take what we can get. And uh, work from there. I even tried to drift tap there, but we just we can't keep our, our bottom down on the ground. Alright. Well, another day in the 5 ton plus Gurkha. Another race win. Doesn't really seem to make sense, but for some reason, Forza really favors this, this vehicle. It's so weird. It's fun to drive. Good at what it does. It always seems to stay flat. We haven't really had any issues with it tipping over or anything yet. It's, it's pretty good. Can do 120 miles an hour over frozen lakes. Handles itself really well in those those type of situations. Whatever you need, like an armored vehicle to go on a frozen lake, this is a good one to do. It's, I mean, that pops up in daily life all the time. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, that, my friends, is going to be another win. Let's, um... I say we switch things up. Let's hop into that bucket list thing down there. Let's check out a, a new change of pace. Oh, okay. Things are going to get interesting here. We are going from a Gurkha to a Benino. Dash through the snow on a 700 horsepower sleigh. This is fitting for this time of year. I like it. All right. Lamborghini Benino. Let's see what she can do. This is going to be the complete opposite of that Gurkha. But I think we might have around the same type of engine. Which is really funny. Dude, this is scary. I can't see anything. I don't want to go flying into a wall or something. It is so dark out here. We've got oncoming cars. We've got 30 seconds to get 400 yards. Dude, this is going to be so easy. Are you serious? I mean, that was... Oh, it wasn't about time. It was about speed. I was looking at the time up at the top left. No, it wants speed. Okay. Talking about how easy it is and we fail it. Beat the speed target. Duh, Trev. You weren't even looking at the screen. All right, 170 miles an hour is our speed target. You'll be able to do that. Let's just stay on the road over here. Ride the wall. Yards, you will arrive at your destination. Got it! Let's go! 172 miles an hour. We even cut through the grass a little bit there. Slowed us down, but uh, we got her done. And to cap things off, I say we go up here and do bucket list number six. It's a, uh, a hard difficulty, and it's all the way up there, so we've got quite a ways to go, but uh, it's going to be awesome. We might be able to do a little bit of off-roading with this thing. I don't know. I just I don't want to be I don't want to do too many races in this because we really aren't going to be able to complete a lot of those challenges. And I want to try to do do the races in cars. We could try to get the three stars, like trying to get the drip drip taps and stuff like that. Just it's not going to work out. We got lucky with the snowman challenge we had first. If we had more of those, we might be able to get them done, but. Do a barrel roll challenges. Looks like this thing likes to frolic in the snow and make snow angels. But, um. It's not that great at the other stuff. And we aren't. I mean, we aren't gonna follow the roads here, man. This thing is meant to go off road. So we're just gonna go straight towards that destination sign and see, uh. See what we can do. More snow angels, no big deal. Oh, this time he got stuck. Back on our feet. We're getting things done. Just cutting across. I mean, this thing is all-wheel drive. It just, it tears through this, man. Got a little slowed down there, but... For the most part, it's handling this uh, this off-road terrain with no problem. So I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and skip up there. I'll see you guys once we reach our destination. We're going to take on a hard bucket list of it. Go downhill drifting in the Ford RS200. All right. Oh, man, this is going to be a challenge, but I'm always up to it. Form 20 great drift skills before you arrive. All right. Let's tear it up, boys. 
Great E drift, starting off swimmingly. Great. Should give us another great. Oh no. Drift tap, but no great. We are looking for drift taps. That was earlier in the episode. Great E drift. Got another great. Dude, we aren't even close to the finish line and we wouldn't have got it anyway. Holy cow, that is so hard. All right, we're gonna retry one more time. I'm not even gonna focus on the drifting. I'm gonna focus on getting down towards the end. I'm gonna hope that we're gonna be going fast enough because we're gonna be focused on speed. We're gonna get all those great e-drift skills because this one it should be easier than I was expecting, but it's, it's definitely not easy. All right. Great drift, awesome drift. Shoot. We can't get the second one there. That's the second time we failed it. All right, got an awesome drift there. Hit the wrong area again. We keep missing this cutoff. It's being so stingy with the greats and awesomes. I don't understand how we can't get some of these, man. We're at 9 out of 20. We're just, we're not meant for drifting, man. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. That's why I've probably been a little bit quieter here. But. It's just not working. I mean, if we could do that over and over again. We could probably get it. Ah, oh, hit that. We're at 15 out of 20. Dude, we might be able to get this. Give me awesome. Oh, we almost got awesome. 16 out of 20. Give me a great one there. We're at 19. Yes!
Yes! Yes! We got it! Oh my gosh, dude! Wow! Let's go! I did not think we were going to be able to get that, but you just had to focus on the speed. That was the key. I was so focused on throwing it sideways that we weren't getting enough speed to actually keep it sideways. My goodness, that was awesome. I can't believe we got it. I didn't think we would. All right. We got three stars. That's good stuff, boys. I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. We're going to get back in some cars that are a little bit better suited for what we're trying to do here. I, just, I thought it'd be kind of fun to check out the Gurkha since it's so rare. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.